Now we go for types of errors. What are the various types of errors present in any instrument? If you know the error present, what is the what type of error present in any instrument? We can reduce it. We can calibrate it and finding the error. What type of error it is important? There is no instrument with perfect accuracy in this world, but it is important to find out what accuracy exactly it has. What uh, accuracy exactly actually it has. Different types of errors present in measurement system. The aim of study of errors is to find out the ways to find out them. The study of errors why we are, is, we are studying is to find out what are the ways to find out them. Errors are usually three types of errors we can classify. Generally the errors are three types. One is gross error, systematic error and random errors. Three types of errors are present in instruments. Gross errors. Gross errors in the sense, the errors which are caused by due to human mistakes. Gross errors is nothing but the errors which are caused due to human mistakes is known as gross errors. Human mistakes or if these errors are occurred due to improper usage of instrument, improper usage of instrument. While taking the reading of the instrument, if you use improperly, then these errors are occurred in an instrument, gross errors. These are computational mistakes also comes under gross error. While calculating any value by do by calculation methods, if you did a mistake, that is a gross error. The second one is systematic error. These are the system present errors. If the system subjected to environment, then environmental error. If the instrument is subjected to, if any inherent errors are there, instrumental errors. Instrumental error, environmental error, observational error. Three types of errors are present in systematic errors. The systematic errors are again three types. In three ways we can classify those. One is instrumental error, environmental error, observational error. That is gross error. These are the errors which are occurred due to human computational mistakes or human errors also called as gross errors. These errors are occurred due to improper usage of instrument. While taking the reading, if the instrument is not used properly, these errors are occur. For example, if you consider an example voltmeter. If you consider an example of voltmeter, a voltmeter is connected to high resistance and low resistance to different readings, it means then loading effect will be there. A voltmeter must be made with high resistance. You know that in measurements, what is the construction of voltmeter? A voltmeter is connected very high resistance because it is uh, connected across the terminals. If the voltmeter is designed with low resistance, then loading effect will come. The systematic errors are shortcomings of the instrument. What are the faults? Internal inbuilt of some fault may be appear in the instrument. Those are systematic errors. These are again classified into instrumental error, environmental error and observational errors. What is instrumental error? Instrumental errors are the shortcomings of the instrument. If any for the defective faults are there in some instruments, those are instrumental error. For defective fault, the company will give assurance as a warranty for one year. If the instrument made with some internal faults, then can replace instrumental error that is the defective or shortcomings of the instrument on false mechanical structures of the instrument is known as instrumental errors. We can see that instrumental error, instrumental errors are the shortcomings of instruments and defective faults also mechanical structure if any failure occur in the instrument uh, due to that some, in, some errors will appear. Irregular PMMC spring tension is the example cause error in PMMC instrument vibration and air gap. These are the methods. What, how to reduce this instrumental error? Let us see now. How to reduce this instrumental error is? This is avoided by selecting measuring instrument, perfect instrument, avoided by selective measuring instruments, applying correction factors by calibrating again a standard instrument. By calibration also we can reduce these errors, redu reduction methods. Sir. These are avoided by selecting suitable instrument for measurement, applying correction factors and by calibration. By calibration also we can reduce these errors. Next environmental error is, environmental error are the systematic errors, these errors are due to conditions of external condition of the measuring device, measuring instrument uh, where the instrument is working, the environment also impact on the instrument. These are the surrounding instrument, 
these are maybe affect the temperature temperature pressure humidity dust all these are comes under environmental error they will create environmental errors in the instrument these are the due to change in environmental conditions if any error appear in the instrument reading then it is known as environmental error observational errors means you know that parallax error due to observation of the person example of pointer of voltmeter if the pointer of voltmeter if you saw from one end there may be change in reading the error of parallax error is example for observational error these errors are on account of parallax error highly accurate unless the observer is exactly not above the pointer to minimize parallax error meters are provided with mirror and scales how to reduce these errors how to reduce environmental error by the use of instruments in proper way in proper temperature and effective temperature normal temperature conditions we have to provide to reduce these errors whereas observation errors can reduce by providing meters having meter saving scale and glass that is the observation error we can reduce next is random errors these are the errors which are due to unknown causes and we don't know what is the cause of random error and even though all errors are reduced these errors are present in the instrument these errors cannot be corrected by any method of calibration and another methods also these errors are usually occur well designed equipment but become important high accuracy work these are errors also we have to consider for important work random errors cannot be reduced why these errors are occur unknown causes we don't know what is the cause of random errors they are simply coming in the instrument during certain conditions few random errors are usually occur in well designed instruments also how to reduce these errors uh, the only taking number of reading by taking the number of readings only we can reduce this type of errors there are so many methods to analyze this to reduce the random errors one is statical analysis of random errors let us discuss in the next class